Hey everybody, the Vertical Saints here. I'm Jen. And I'm Matt. And we got Fortune Teller Barber from set 22. Well, first time ever, she's been a leader, isn't it? Yeah. I think she's already a card, but. Probably. Uh, anyway, um, by the way, we'll have to go this way. Like, oh, because the stuff. Forth. Yeah, the stuff that way. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so auto, you just play the field into, uh, from your deck into play as soon as she hits the leader area. Nothing we haven't seen before. Nope. Activate main, switch this card to rest mode, draw one card. Look at up to two cards on top of your opponent's deck and place them on top of, the, of their deck in any order. Awaken, when you lose a five or less, or you have four cards under the fortune teller Barber's Palace, in your battle area, draw two cards. So, deck manipulation on your opponent. Hmm. So you can always control what they'd like you to search, uh, draw, all of that kind of stuff. Also, especially because of like that being an activate main, is like, oh, start the game. I'm going first. Right, let's draw a card. Let's see what you're drawing <laughs> for turn. <coughs> it's like, I'm going first. I'm a manipulate. <laughs> uh, so the awaken side has got Gohan on it. Oh. But it's Grandpa Gohan. But it's Grandpa Gohan. Um, so, Pernament, your yellow Sun Gohan Z battle cards gain double strike. Pretty useful. Might have to see it. Yeah, I'll have to look later for that. I was just wondering if like there was any other Sun Gohan. Um, yellow Sun Gohan, because it just says Sun Gohan. It doesn't specify whether it's this Sun Gohan or whether it's the other one. What, the Argo Han? Yeah. Um, I would imagine it's just meant to be Grandpa Gohan, but then there is things about character names under um, colons because of I'm searching, so it might occur. Yeah. But, I mean, just giving them double strike is a pain. Yeah. Uh, also, when it's card attacks, draw one card, look at up to three cards on top of your opponent's deck, I've really got to be careful about reading these, hmm. uh, and place them on top of the deck in any order. Right, okay. So, attack, draw, look at top three, manipulate. Cool. Hmm. Activate battle, pay yellow, issue, choose four battle cards under Fortune Teleballer's Palace. In your battle area, use all of the chosen cards in the combo. Right, okay, I'm guessing there's going to be a way of um, getting more underneath using autos from other cards. I imagine the palace will put some on. Uh, I was going to just find the palace. Yeah, oh, that yeah. was the, that was it. That right, was okay. It. So we got Barber's Palace. It's five cost barrier field. You just oh look, a his... field that has barrier that goes straight into play. Oh, huh, yeah, yeah. They they realise they need to do it more. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, could have done it for Spirit Bomb. Yeah, really could have done it for Spirit Bomb. So permanent, you can't place more than one card with the same character name under this card in the battle area. Okay, so you're only allowed one of each card, basically. Um, when you play a yellow, Dracula Man, Suke San, Bandages, or Spike from your hand or deck, place it under up to one of the one card with the same name as this card from your deck, then shuffle your deck. Okay. So you, when you play one, you get to place one. And uh, if you played it from deck, yeah. If you play it from <coughs> hand or deck, you place it under up to one card the same name as a card you played from the deck. So I assume if you play like a spike, you place a spike underneath. Yeah. So they, I think they made a typo there. It might be other. It's meant to be other, but who knows? It could be same. Yeah, because it just says place under it up to one, which is where I got confused. I was like, that doesn't make sense. I think it's meant to say place it under. Um, so yeah, they, they're all right of that. And act of main what's pretend if you place one yellow, Dragon Man, Soku San, Banjos, or Spike card from your hand at the bottom of your deck, you draw a card. Oh, More okay. draw power. <clears throat> And then putting them back into deck is good because then you get to get them back out of deck for other skills. 
Alright, so you got Dracula Man, a challenging warrior. One <laughs> drop, 4k. What? This guy looks so stupid. Uh, auto limit one, declare one number. Okay. When this card is played from your deck or hand, reveal the top card of your opponent's deck. Then flip the revealed card over and place it atop of their deck. Okay. Additionally, if the reveal card's energy cost is the same as the declared number, add up to one yellow Suki sound card from your deck to your hand and then shuffle your deck. Yeah, so. Ah, wordy. You manipulate your opponent's deck, magically call the correct number and get a card to your hand. Magically cool. <laughs> uh, auto limit one, yes, I know, that's why you said it in a certain tone. Yeah, okay, I get it, but I don't get it. Shut up. Auto limit one, if your leader card is a yellow fortune talent barber card and your opponent's life is at seven or more, when this card is used in a combo from your battle area, your opponent adds one card from their life to their hand. That is very much an early game combo. E well that's turn one. Pretty much. It literally has to be turn <laughs> seven or more, it's like just use this quick. Cause like with the way most decks are these days, they're putting themselves down to six by the time you even get a chance to play that. Yeah, a lot of leaders waking early so they go down to the amount and it's like, yeah, you just have to throw that as like your first combo of the game. <laughs> and um, I hope they haven't already taken themselves down. Yep. So we got Devil Might Beam, so the ZX card, cost two, one Z energy, permanent, your yellow spike cards get plus five K power. Very specific. And also let one remove this card from the game. When one of your battle cards is KO'd or removed from a battle by an opponent's skill, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards without Son Goku's character name and KO it. That is a lot better than choosing a Goku and killing it. <laughs> cooler. <coughs> Make a black cooler we're looking at you. I'm okay. You're okay. Ugh, ow. <laughs> anyway, uh, so you got Suki Sai and a challenging warrior. I assume he's invisible. <laughs> uh, so, two drop, 10k, deflect, permanent. If you have a card under Fortune Teller Barber's Palace in your battle area, reduce the energy cost this card in your hand by one yellow. Okay, so one drop. Uh, permanent, this card, it can't be attacked. I wonder why. Okay. Wednesday. Auto limit one, declare one number. When this card is played from your hand, I can see this being a running theme for this. Um, yeah. Reveal the top card of your opponent's deck, then flip the reveal card over and place it at the top of their deck. Right, okay, so I'm going to guess for most of these cards, that first chunk paragraph is always going to be the same. Yeah, I think, mean, say, you look at the top card, you tell what number it is, flip, add the associated character, and then shuffle your deck. And additionally, if your reveal card's energy cost is the same as a declared number, add up to one yellow bandages card from your deck to your hand and then shuffle your deck. Yeah. Okay. So we've got Spike, <coughs> Challenging Warrior. Four cost, 20k, permanent. If there are three or more cards under a Fortune Barber's Palace in your battery, reduce the energy cost of this card in hand by three. Oh, wow. Um, auto, limit one, declare number, top card, magic number. Um, so, we know that part. Additionally, if the revealed cards is the same name as a declared number, reduce the cost of your Devil Might Beam in your Z deck by one yellow for a turn. So, one, one. Yep. Okay. I just wanted to double check his actual initial cost again. <laughs> uh, so, you got Bandages, a challenging warrior. Three cost 15. I'm going to assume he works pretty much exactly the same as the uh, Spike does. The flat permanent if there are two or more cards under Fortune Tales Barber, reducing by two. So yeah, pretty much exactly the same as this. They become one cost. Yeah, it's working their corresponding costs initially. Yeah. And then the auto is pretty much all the same, um, but the additional part is additionally, if the reveal card's energy cost is the same as a declared number, add up to one yellow spike card from your deck to your hand, shuffle your deck, and this card gains 5k for the turn. So that's his additional effect, but yeah. the rest of it is exactly the same as all the others. Yeah. There's Baba, there's Broly. Um, Just my super combo. Yeah, it's a yellow super combo that's relevant for the fact that it's Earthling. Yeah, but 
Yeah. If that, like, just in case that ever comes up, it's re- that's where its relevance is. I mean, it could be relevant for Walmart as well, but, you know, that remains to be seen. But the biggest I mean, thing is the trait being Earthling. There is some kid Goku stuff that works for Bulma, so... Oh, okay. There's relevant for that. Okay, well, there we go, man. So... Or Vegeta, if you know. Um, so we got Son Gohan, true self revealed. So this is an SR, it's free cost of 10k, it's got blocker, counter attack, if you uh, the leader is yellow and your life is at 4 or less, negate and play. Pwn, if you have a card with an edge cost of 4 or more and Son Goku its character name, you can activate this card's counter skill from your hand without paying its energy cost. That's really good. And auto, if it's your opponent's turn, when this card is played, choose one of your battle cards with Son Goku and its character name, switch to active mode. And you can't activate counter attack skills for the turn. So pretty, pretty open card then. Yep. <laughs> just have to have a four more cost Goku, and you can just play this as a yellow negate in Goku decks. Yeah, if your leader is yellow as well. Yep. All right then. <clears throat> and you can also save one of your Gokus, which yep. is good. Uh, all right, so we've got a five cost Goku, uh, intense headbutt. Oh, I would have thought it would be intense biting because you know it was his <laughs> his go to technique. <laughs> As a kid, he was like, we'd bite you or we'd just smack you with his nut. Twenty five k power, unique barrier. Also, declare one number. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, when his card attacks, reveals I got the opponent's deck. Uh, then flip the reveal card over and place it at the top of the deck. When this card attacks reveals, I got your first deck. And then flip the revealed card. Yeah, you showed them the card so that you can do the rest of your effect. There's got to be a wh- better way of wording that so it's not so much words, right? <laughs> can it just be literally when this card attacks reveal top card in the deck? Flip, done. I mean. Yeah. Instead but of... then they're like, oh, but then it stays face up. It's like, no, it would just go back down. <sighs> okay. Addition, the reveal card's edge cost is the same as a declared number, chilled to one of your opponent's unisons with specified cost of two or less, or up to one of their battle cards, both in rest mode, and place it in the owner's drop. Hmm. So wait, do you choose both or one? Oh, or, or, oh it says or. Yeah. So yeah, okay. Uh, activate main limit one, paying the yellow. If there are four more cards under Fortune Teller's Barber in, in your battle area, play this card from your hand. Right, okay. So, from what we've seen, it's very quick and consistent to get the cards underneath. Yeah. So, you've got Fortune Teller's Barber seen in the future. It's one cost, one K. Active main, place this in the owner's drop, and you can either play up to one yellow dragon amount and then it's cost of one from your deck, then shuffle your deck, or you can add a crystal gazing from your deck to your hand, then shuffle your deck. Okay, so you either play a card or you add a card. Act main what's done. If you leave Fortune and Violet, look at one card from the top of your opponent's deck and place it on top of the bottom of their deck. Ah, so end of a wave manipulation after you've done it once with a different effect. Yeah, okay. or if you know to get to draw something good, you can then be like, ah, let's get rid. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, right, yeah, so you can just keep chucking all the stuff to the bottom. Yeah. Okay, all right. So we've got an eight cost Gohan. Well, just like when I first saw this card, I immediately just thought Goku because of the fact that it's Fortune Teller Barber. So it's like completely overlooked the fact that it could be Gohan. Yeah, we thought this to <laughs> the deck, and it's like, no wait, this is actually for something else. Yeah, this is for the um, Field Gohan deck. That no, not Field Gohan. Whatever it was, Field Gohan. Well, it was like higher dragon. Gohan. Yeah, it was like the it was the leader that ended up getting arrested <laughs> because he just became a generic yellow leader with four copies of the vanilla higher dragon deck and then just yellow. Yeah, basically, uh, and then they had to put a stop to that. But it looks like they're supporting him. So anyway. 8 cost, 30k, double strike, dual attack, blocker, auto, once per turn, when your yellow, higher dragon card is removed from your battle area by an opponent's skill, choose all your opponent's battle cards and KO them. Activate main, limit 1, paying 3 yellow, if your leader card is a yellow, great ape, Son Gohan, youth card, and you have a higher dragon's home in your drop, 
play this card from your hand. See, that's the part that confuses me, though, because I know for a fact that leader doesn't... isn't a yellow grey... well, a grey A Gohan youth. Um, when it awakens, it doesn't become an ape. No. And I don't think it got a, a Z leader, but I feel like this is also for that deck, unless there is another Gohan that I am completely forgetting exists. I will find out, because... I honestly kind of blanked on that. Uh, activate main loot one. If you lead a card as a yellow Sun Gohan youth card and you discard this card from your hand, add up to one higher dragon's home from your deck to your hand and shuffle your deck. See, that part makes me think it's that deck. Yeah, it, I mean, it's all working around the higher dragon, which is meant to be that, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's the, yeah, that weird Gohan field deck. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Yeah, okay, Jonah's just going to look it up quickly. I'll carry on. Uh, crystal Gazing, zero cost. Activate main slash battle. If you lead a card as a yellow fortune teller barber card, you look at up to three cards on top of your opponent's deck and place them on top of the deck in any order. That is really helpful, because just more ways of deck manipulation, um, knowing what's coming. Uh, but you... Yeah, you put them back in any order, so it is your area's manipulation. Uh, activate battle, paying the yellow. Declare one number, reveal the top card of your opponent's deck, then flip the reveal card and place it on top of their deck. Additionally, its reveal card's energy cost is the same as a declared number. Choose up to one of your fortune teller bubble cards to get 5k power per turn. Um, there is a um, great tape version of the Gohan. Which does work at field, so I guess it's in case you put the High Dragon's Home in that deck. Because it's just about... Am I confusing the two decks, then? I don't think so. I think you could basically run either. Like, I think it just requires you to have Gohan, so I think people were able to, like, mix some of the High Dragon stuff into that deck. Because uh... that deck just uses a lot of field cards, so... Kind of one of those. Okay, so supporting which Gohan exactly from what set? Technically? Uh, technically, the one from BT15. Ah, right, okay. So. Not the not the errated one. Not the errated one. Yeah, okay, so that's what it's supposed to be for. Alright. So, yeah. Uh, are we on this one then? Yes, I've, I've done the gazing. Okay. So, we've got Higher Dragon carrying a friend, say, free cost 15k. Also, if you're the leader. Is a yellow Sun Gohan youth card. When this card is played, up to one yellow Great Ape Sun Gohan youth card. You deck your hand, let's up your deck. Or to the one, pay one yellow. If you have high dragons home in your battle, you play this card from your hand. I'm guessing the leader plays the, that particular field in some form or way. Um, no. Okay, so what the hell is that field then? Higher dragons. Home. I don't know why the following part is for dogs when I Google that. But, hey. <laughs> oh, it's just a one cost field. That's easily played. Oh, right, just okay. one cost field. Alright, okay. There we go, man. That answers all those questions. Yep. Right, so we're on to the Sun Gohan Z battle card now. So, mm -hmm. free cast with 2 ZMG, 25k power, deflect, barrier, dual attack. Permanent, if you have a yellow, non great Ape, Sun Goku, Childhood card with an energy cost of 5 or more in play, reduce the energy cost of this card in your Z deck by 1 yellow. So, it can become a 2 cost. Okay. When this card is played, choose it to one of your yellow, non great Ape, Sun Goku, Childhood battle cards. It gains dual attack for the turn. At the end of your turn, remove this card for the game. Right, so it's basically just to give you two dual attackers for a turn. Yeah, and because of Barber, it can gain double strike. Yeah. So it's a try probably either push for end game or push your opponent to the point where they got very little chance of recovering because yeah. you're putting that much pressure on with a lot of dual attacks. But it does work in both decks from this set. You can easily play an either because you're using Goku's in both. Yes. So, it's pretty good. Oh, well, that was the last card, apparently. Yep. Spoiler alert for the next one. <laughs> Alright, guys, uh, so thank you very much for watching. Leave any thoughts in the comments below, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.